who are your favorite authors and poets from the state of Ohio? Um, so I'm not a huge poetry guy, but I did read some Rita Dove in college, and I was, I was a, quite a fan of that. Uh, and like I said, uh, Toni Morrison, I think, is the by far and away greatest Ohio author to ever live. Winesburg, Ohio was also something that I really adored when I was a kid. When you wrote the book, did you intend for it to be political? Or was it just a story when you were writing it? It was, de it was definitely something I imagined to be just a story as I was writing that first draft. Uh, and then immediately after reading it again, uh, you know, I sort of saw, no, I've had a lot on my mind <laughs> these past few years and it's all in here. And I need to be careful, first of all, not to make it didactic, not to have characters making uh, you know, you know, assertions that the author certainly feels. But I also had to you know, um, allow myself the space to say, like, this is what I want to write about. Like, these were the events and the circumstances that surrounded you know, my friends, my peers, my generation. And I, you know, I have to process this through this novel. Uh, I think certainly the military is, is hard to research. Having not been in the military, uh, it presents you know, an enormous challenge. Um, and I was very, very concerned uh, writing that section and reached out to you know, good friends of mine, people I trusted to give me an honest critique of, of that chapter. Um, and uh, the people who did, it was such a valuable experience as not only as a writer who's trying to write a novel, but sort of as a person who wants to understand uh, our military's place in the world right now. Uh, what is your favorite Spike Lee film and why is it School Days? It's definitely not School Days. It's for sure He Got Game. He Got Game was, uh, without question, my favorite movie ever the first 20 times I watched it. I was a big basketball fan and, you know, uh, I was also at that age when suddenly I realized, um, you know, like there are political and social contexts to every film I'm watching. And that was the first movie I felt like, oh, this is talking about something I love, like college basketball, uh, but it's saying something pretty dark about it. And uh, it, I just, I love that film to this day. Hell of a soundtrack, too. Oh, I'm public enemy, yeah, I mean, incredible, yeah. And, and a, lot, a lot of Aaron Copeland, too. What is Ohio's soundtrack? I mean, there's gonna be definitely some Springsteen. There's going to be some political rappers, probably Immortal Techniques on there, Dead Prez. Uh, <laughs> he's bigger than hip-hop. Yeah, Fiona Apple, I'd guess. Uh, and then probably just uh, a lot of, you know, um, Ryan Bingham and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Joe Pug and, and uh, guys who are playing guitars and driving uh, too fast. Who are you reading right now? So I uh, just finished a uh, book called... Um, by Alfred Knopf called In the Shadow of the American Century, which is sort of about, uh, uh, you know, America's military role in the world, especially post 9-11. Um, I'm also reading Lincoln by Gore Vidal, which I'm just enjoying thoroughly, and um, Aurora by Kim Stanley Robinson, which is probably my favorite science fiction novel I've read in, in a long time. Thank you so much.